My scene TV fans is Godric Johnson here at the Mortuary in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Angela Francis. We're going to interview some people. We just went through this run through of the Mortuary. It was kind of scary. It was kind of scary. It was really scary. We're going to get some honest reactions out of these people, though. I think, I think if we catch them right when they're coming out the door, we can see the looks on their faces. Oh, yeah. So let's go. Let's get that. It's going to be real easy for me to have you kicked out because of that light. You know that, right? We got a press pass. I don't care. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Angela Francis with My Scene TV. Boy, have I missed you guys. You, 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 and you. Oh, I've missed out so much. We're here at the Mortuary 2015. Look at this place, guys. It is incredible. I'm here with Ben. How are you doing? And he's the marketing Right, marketing director. What's your first and last name? Ben Hewlett. Ben Hewlett. How long have you been involved with this project here? Uh, the building, we've been doing this for nine years. This is our ninth year, and I've been here since we first started. So you see progression from year to year? Oh, yeah. Every year we have a new theme, and every year the crowds grow bigger and bigger. Uh, new Orleans has really become a destination for Halloween, and we see people from all over the world come and visit us. It's our favorite time of year. This is the place to be for Halloween. Is New Orleans the most haunted place is it in America? That's it. In the world. That's right. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the building. Okay. This, is, this is a beautiful building. Thank you. The building was built in 1872, and it was a real operating funeral home for many years. And um, after we purchased it, right after Katrina, about 10 years ago, we were contacted by a lot of the paranormal investigators who come, and they wanted to do investigations, and they found that the place is really haunted. So it's a haunted house in a real haunted house. Uh, are you guys believers? Are you? I'm kind of a skeptic, but I was here for all of the videos, for all the shows, and I tell you what, it was some really creepy things that they found, um, pictures and, and uh, different recordings and all. So. That is definitely one of my guilty pleasures, is walking, walking, watching the paranormal activity shows. Okay, so what did they find? Can people go online and see the actual real hauntings to inspire them? Right, we were featured on Ghost Hunters, Ghost Lab, and um, you can watch those shows if you go and look on the internet. But we have a, a, a website you can go to, mortuary.net, and they'll have some pictures there, or some things that'll talk about the history of the building and how it's haunted. I am so excited to get in here. You change the theme up every year. You were telling me about that. What's the theme for this year? This year, the theme is seven serial killers. And we have seven serial killers throughout the building that their job is to terrorize all of our guests. So huh? as you go from scene to scene, a new uh, serial killer Come after you. Are these known serial killers? Yes, they are. Oh my god. I'm not gonna give any more away. So. Okay, okay, we'll have to see for ourselves inside. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you. Tell us about the building. We can't wait to go inside. Thank you, Ben. Right, Angela thank you. Francis. See you guys soon. I'm Dr. Kathy Kaiway at Get Off My Nerves Chiropractic. I specialize in prenatal and pediatric chiropractic. We have massage therapy, cryotherapy, laser therapy, and much, much more. Come visit us at both our locations. More than a decade of bringing you the latest on all things entertainment. Oh, bless America. And winner of the Silver 2021 Telly Award. People are watching what you're doing. <laughs> this is me completion. This is my scene TV. from the mortuary. How did you guys enjoy your experience? Well, if you're a middle-aged woman like us, we're in our 40s, wear Depends undergarments, maybe a short sleeve shirt because you will have a flash, bring great friends to hold on to their shirts and keep you close, 
that's because I fell down and I... <laughs> Flip-flops. That was her poor choosing right there. She wore flip-flops. <laughs> wow. Maybe I s enjoy is the wrong term. Oh, enjoy is the wrong term. We loved it. Absolutely right. It was great. We had fun. Yes, it was very scary. It was very, very well worth What group are you guys with? I see y'all all... Yeah, I'm them. Mississippi. Picking in Mississippi. She needs a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> yes. Well, there you have it. Thank you, ladies. We enjoy it. Have a good night. Oh, what's going on, ladies? We're doing great. We're still recovering. How, how was it? It was good. Was are you guys first time? We are. We are. What do you think about it? It was really good. Worth every penny. Screamed a lot. Did you come far to come to the Chicago? No, you didn't. Just for Halloween, all the way from Chicago to New Orleans. All right, ladies, so what was the highlight and the low light of the haunted house for you? Um, for me, the highlight was watching my friend here uh, duck and cover from one of the monsters in the house. <laughs> for two minutes. I did. For two minutes? How'd you make it out of there? They had to drag you by your hair, didn't they? <laughs> all right, well, we got it. We're so glad you guys had a good time. Thanks for talking with us. See you later. <laughs> on all things entertainment. Oh, bless America. And winner of the Silver 2021 Telly Award. People are watching what you're doing. <laughs> this is me completion. This <laughs> is my scene TV. Falcon here. Normally when you see me on the screen, I'm telling you about things that you can do and find in Southeast Asia. But at the moment, we're going to talk about shopping local and buying local because we here at Myasim TV want to keep the integrity and the view and the look and the things that we love about Louisiana. And we cannot do that 
if you don't shop local. So please go out, go to your neighborhood restaurant, neighborhood bar. Maybe you find a brand new friend, someone you never even knew existed in your own city. So please, from all of us here at Myasin TV, shop local and support your local businesses. What's up, My Scene TV? Your girl, Deshay Laveau, and I am having a wicked good time because we are at the 2014 Ghostly Gala for 1031 Consortium, and I am here with royalty. Kind of scary, huh? Yes, scary royalty. I am here with Todd and Jessica, this year's king and queen. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. Hey. Now, you guys probably should remember Jessica from last year. I'm just saying she was our favorite interviewee. We love you, Kat. I was. I was pretty kitty cat. Oh, you're still a kitten. I love her. Seriously. So talk to me, guys. What is this year's theme? This year's theme is Day of the Dead or Dia de la Mercos. Awesome. Okay. Talk to me, girl. You're coming back this year. I'll be dazzled and fabulous. I'm loving it. You're queen. What did you do this year to get that fabulous headpiece? I'm just saying. Besides just being awesome. We have a system that works on royalty points, and you get points for anything you donate, anything you work an event, anytime you donate anything to work with anybody else that benefits our beneficiaries, and I just happen to have the most points. Imagine that, and I know I've seen her all year long, and she calls me and reminds me, hey, we're doing good stuff, right? I'm my own personal PR person. Love her, I'm telling you. So Todd, talk to me. How were you able to keep up with this one now? Because she's busy. This is true. I was nowhere near in the points, but fortunately I had the most male points, so it worked out very well. But <laughs> go to go team boys, right? Exactly. It has to be a king. It can't just be a queen. Oh, I like that. A crowning achievement. They're so blinged out. But you know bling's my favorite color, guys. Jessica, last words. Tell them how to get in touch with you guys. It is www.1031consortium.com or we have a Facebook page, Baton Rouge Halloween Parade, and find us there. That's right. Smell Consortium Girl, you did it last year, it was fabulous. C O N S O R T I U M. Hello! What's up, my scene TV? Jessica, Todd, Deshae, we're out of here. My scene TV, we're back. We're still at the 2014 Ghostly Gala, and I am here with the chair of the Ghostly Gala, Rainey. Talk to me, Rainey. How long have you been with? 1031 Consortium and talk to me about what's going on this year with the theme. I've been with 1031 Consortium since its first year right before the parade actually about May when we did our um, putt-putt tournament. Okay. Now we have, talk to me, what is your position again? Now you're going to be a board member this year, right? I'm Judy. Member. I'm board member this year and next year. I'm in charge of membership so join, join, come join us, contact me. And it happens to be $31. Love it. No, you know what? Talk to me. What is? We do all this cool stuff, and well, we're just Halloween enthusiasts, right? But but what do we do other than scaring people and having a lot of fun? Okay, what we do. The whole purpose is we are a nonprofit organization, and what we do is raise money for Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. We also um, get uh, costumes for children who don't have any. We also do food for the Baton Rouge Food Bank. So you eat drink, scare people, and yeah, do some other good stuff, and raise, and raise money, and have oh. a lot of fun. Oh. Sign us up now, I'm just saying. Now, Halloween, real quick, the parade, yes. when? It's November 1st, it's downtown, and it's at 2 p.m., and you can go to 1031consortium.com and find out more information about the route. That's right, and you know what? All those fabulous Halloween costumes we got, you can wear it the day after because it's on the first yes. this year. It's on the first, Day of the Dead. Oh, too fabulous. Gotta go. My scene TV. Let's go scare some people. Okay. Yay. That's right, My Scene TV. We are looking for Miss Kelly Crisco Stein. Where's she at? Ooh, I don't know. Did the ghost get her? Not sure. But we wanted to say, Kelly, thank you so much for having My Scene TV on our scene. That is definitely what's up. Thanks for what you're doing for our community. 
Thank you, 1031, all the chairs and the board members. You guys are fabulous. This is definitely, what's up? We're out of here. This is your girl, Deshay Laveau, with My Scene TV. We cover your entertainment news here, there, and everywhere. But My Scene TV was born right here in Louisiana. So if you're looking for world-class fun with a little Southern charm, it's time to visit Louisiana. My scene TV, we're at the 13 The Gate. It's Halloween time, this is our Halloween special, and we're here with Blaine Kwam. He's the director of all the makeup here at the 13th Gate. Hey Blaine, how you doing today? I'm doing good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my 14th season with Midnight Productions, and uh, the, we've, our 11th season is 13th Gate. Well, what brought you to do this at the 13th Gate? Uh, I'm a Halloween freak. And uh, Dwayne Sandburn, the owner of uh, Midnight Productions and 13th Gate, asked me years ago, uh, everything that people see in this house is, is I've had a, a hand in you know, And I, I can't take all the credit. I've got a great crew that works under me. You do a phenomenal job. If you guys have ever been to the 13th Gate, I mean, his character is just so realistic. It's very, very scary and creepy. This guy's giving me a look right now. You guys, I mean, I just want to run, throw the mic down. Don't throw it down. Just, uh, I'll take it. You can just, just, just take off. Go, go run away if you're that scared. How are you doing today? What's your name? I'm Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. What's going on? Oh, I'm so, are you part of the Insane Asylum? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. How long have you been doing this with the 13th Gate? This is my first year. Oh, it's dripping from your chin. I know. Isn't that great? That's so gross. <laughs> I can't wait to see you in the 13th Gate. Oh yeah, you coming through? I'm coming through. Oh, I'll, I I do the house blessing too. <laughs> okay. Be sure to scare me. Oh. <laughs> With the creator of the 13th Gate, the circus, the ringmaster himself. What's your name, Dwayne? Dwayne Sandburn, yes. Oh my goodness, how long have you been doing this? Oh, a very long time. 19 years. 19 years here at, here in Baton Rouge. How long? 11 years uh, at this location. We've been in Baton Rouge for, since 1998. So a long time. Wow, that is a long time. Every year I come, I do support you guys, and it's the greatest hot in the south that I've ever been to. Thank you very much. Well, the actors here worked really hard to make it one of the best songs. How do you find your actors? What do you look for in your actors? They got to be scary. That's it, just scary. Yeah, we got a lot of scary people in here, don't we? You do. You have a lot of a lot of. Scary people, a lot of good-looking people. No, you know, our actors are, they come from all over, from LSU Theater, from uh, their professional actors. Uh, some people don't have any acting ability at all, but they're very enthusiastic about Halloween. They love Halloween. They love scaring people. So it's a mix. It's one big happy family here that... Uh, you guys seem like a big happy family. Yeah. This is so cool. Are you going to let me do it one year, maybe? Sure. Come on out. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? I mean, this thing is like... Creeping me out. Oh, yeah, we've That's... got a lot of creepy critters here. <laughs> okay. We've got snakes and rats and roaches. Real and... Oh, snakes yeah. and rats yeah. and roaches. Lots. Yeah, we've got something for everyone. So it doesn't matter what scares you, it's waiting for you here. Are you constantly scouting for new talent, new makeup? And... Yes. Yeah? A lot of our makeup artists are great. Uh, most of them work on movies, and they're, they're in between movies that come and work here. Well, thank you so much for taking out your thank time you. to talk to us. Welcome back to My Scene TV, and it is the month of October. So you should be thinking spooky and ghouls and oh, bloody makeup. And I was possessed by the spirit of Michael Jackson. So I just had to bust out my most amazing sick dance moves in this thriller video. So right here at My Scene TV, check it out. There's lots more. Dude Falcon, out.
adventurous though those hate me alive and possess my soul, but oh, I'm being pulled back to 2013 with... It is hot in Louisiana right now, and probably because we have some of the hottest events going on our scene. That's right, The Walking Dead Escape. Oh, did we survive? I don't know. Yeah. Find out. We're up. The Walking Dead Escape was on my scene TV. My scene TV, your girl just Shay LeBeau. That's right, we are here at the Baton Rouge River Center at the Walking Dead Escape. Oh, and I'm just saying, I don't know if that's my sister, my mother, I don't know. Mother, ah, help me. Just saying, the Walking Dead Escape, Baton Rouge River Center, and this is what's up. My scene TV, that's right, your girl just Shay LeBeau, and I am here with James. Now, James is in radio and I just found out he now has a face for radio. Yes, truly. You know what? How did you find out about The Walking Dead Escape? How did you become, uh, well, a walker? I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, from the graphic novels all the way up to the TV series. So when I found out I was coming to town, naturally I had to be in it. Absolutely. You know what? You guys are doing a phenomenal job. It gives me chills. I'm loving this stuff. How are you? <laughs> I'm scared. Yes, yes. I love it. It's awesome. I mean, it's if you're a Walking Dead fan, it's an experience you're not going to find anywhere else. That's right. You know what? They're here in Baton Rouge. This is the first walk, first right. escape. It's the, it's the debut of it. So. That's right. This is the debut. I'm a, I'm excited. You're obviously, well, Are you dying. Are you infected yet? Not yet. Everybody's getting infected before the night's over. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'm wearing protection. Oh, that's good. It's called a microphone. <laughs> what else do you say to that? That's the reason I stand behind the mic and you don't see my face. <laughs> you know what, you are phenomenal. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. You guys are phenomenal, I love it. And this is definitely, uh, uh, what's up? What's up my scene TV? We got people here from all the way from Alexandria, Trey, what's up, baby? That's right, that's right. These guys are here trying, ah, we're all trying to escape from the walking dead. I'm just saying, Trey, you better save me. I'm just saying, my scene TV to Shay LeBeau. I'm still walking around. I can't take it. I'm scared already. God bless it. <laughs> My scene TV, I'm just saying. It's scaring me. I am PTSD already. My scene TV, just Shay LeBeau. I'm out of here. I can't take it. I'm going to quit. Look, it's Indiana Jones. Oh, shit. Talking mushroom. <laughs> I just got through with the Walking Dead escape. So, did I make it through? Did I survive? No, no. We know I didn't. I'm scary. I got God. I'm just saying. So, I've been practicing my zombie walk. You ready? My scene TV. Your girl is Shay LeBeau. And we are out of here. <laughs>